Welcome YouTube, Stack 44 coming in with another video. You should expect to attract what you see in the mirror. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers, all my regular subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button in the corner of your screen. Hit that notification bell as well. You get all my videos sent straight to your phone or your device as soon as I put one up on YouTube. But let's get right to the video. You should expect to attract or what you see in the mirror. You know, at the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, I always tell you guys it's you versus you, but relationships are reflective. What you see in the mirror, you should want in yourself. If you are a fit woman or a fit man, you should want a fit woman or a fit man. You should want a person that's like-minded. If you're into reading books or into uh, always exercising your mind, you should want somebody that's going to exercise their mind. If you're a person that put God first, you should understand that natural order to, to make sure, sure your relationship works by using God as the, as the point of the highness to keep your relationship together. A lot of times people are not dating the people they see in the mirror. And this is a problem because at the end of the day, we're dating people that pretending to be something in the mirror that they're not. And I always tell you guys, a sensible man watches for problems and prepares to meet them. A fool never looks ahead. So we got to be proactive of dealing with people that are reflections of ourselves. And the only way we can do that is become the best version of you as possible. Because when you find out who you are, you will recognize who for you, who against you, and who just in your way. And a lot of times when we don't do the self-work, it hurts us in the long run that we start dealing with people that makes us feel good on the surface level. But when that runs out and that runs dry, then people leech on to the next person because we live in a microwave society. When people don't do the work, they feel like they can just, oh, just take it out the microwave, put something else in, and warm it up. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to be ovens, not microwaves. Make sure you guys understand delayed gratification, how to do your plan, your purpose, your program, and understand that people are going to come in your come in, into your energy, but you got to understand who to welcome into your energy, who not to welcome to your energy. And that's why being being focused on yourself is so much important on your spiritual, your mental, your physical, all the things that we talk about on my channel. Now, at the end of the day, when you get to that point of of, of a man, of, uh, a man that is always on his purpose, you, know, you got to be married to your purpose before anything. That builds legacy. And at the end of the day, you want to find a woman that's going to be a co-captain to your ship, not somebody that's going to be an anchor to your ship. Same thing for a woman. A woman should want to be a co-captain to a man's kingdom and follow his plan, his purpose, his program. But only way you should want to follow a man, ladies, if he's following God. If he got submit, if a man have a submission to God, then you should submit to him because that's the natural order. Because if you have a submission to God and a plan, a purpose, and a program, that means he has a mission. And then when a man has a mission and he meets the right woman that 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 uh, that uh, compliment him, not complicate him, he should get the submission from a woman. So, like I said before, relationships are reflective. We got to deal with the people that actually in the same mindset that we are in and in the same um, uh, attraction level as well. You know, attraction for a man is everything. I know it's not all every, uh, the in all be all for women, but we are men. We got to make sure we are attractive to uh, get the quality of women that we want. Make sure we're fit. Make sure, and at the same time, women, you got to make sure you're fit. Man ain't going to go after you. And if he get his body all together, he ain't going to care about your money. I talked about this on a lot of videos. People that got a lot of money, they sometimes are miserable because they can't do what they want to do with their money. And if they do do what they want to do, they know they buy somebody, especially women. A lot of men, they know we have to be the providers, the protectors. Women are the nurturers. Your life is all about your your affection and your protection. The man is the protector. The woman is the affector. She the one that actually gives the man the affection to move on and stroke the ego. And the man is the guy that provides, protect, 
and have the program and have the knowledge to be the head while she's the neck. But they go hand in hand and for everything to work, we need each other. So basically, I know 2021 is here. I want you guys to look in the mirror and realize what you deserve and what you want and be honest about what you want with people because the truth will set you free. When you sit back not being honest with yourself, then that's that's not good. But only way you could be free in your life is living your truth. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I got to fix this. I got to fix that. And your mental. It's not just looking in the mirror, looking at your outer. What, what's going on inside? Make sure you fix that to help you in the long run. But that's pretty much all I really want to say in this video is relationships are reflective. Don't expect to get something that you can't that you can't see in yourself in, in the mirror because you don't deserve it. And then if you if you know you don't deserve something, you're going to question it and be insecure in the first place. Know you that guy. Know you that woman. Know you that man. And keep a stack attacking your life. Keep stacking up your life. You versus you. And I'll holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.